Hi, my name is Sean Smith, and I'm going to walk you through a hands-on lab for the Grawl VM tools for Java to debug a native image generated or native executable generated by Grawl VM native image. And we're going to use uh, the Luna Labs platform from Oracle to do that. It's a browser-based lab environment where you can try out a few things and not install anything local. So it's really great. So I'm going to paste in the URL to the lab we're doing today. And that URL is available for you in the description of this uh, YouTube video. You will need to be logged in with your Oracle account. If you haven't got one, uh, the prompts will give you an option to choose to create one. Uh, I have logged in, so I'm going to continue on here. And from here, I'm going to just jump right in and hit Launch Lab. So once we're um, seeing the desktop, we can click on the Luna Lab uh, link here. And it lets us know that it's it's provisioning resources. So once this gear stops spinning, uh, then we know that everything we need is available. In fact, what will happen is uh, a script will appear here. So if you scroll through, and I'm sort of not really covering the details here. You can read this yourself when you try the lab. Um, but I'll step through. Uh, I'm clicking the lab. And when I get this check mark, I'm ready to go. What will happen is it will actually pop up a script that I can take and run uh, to get started. So this is what we're waiting for at this point. OK, so this has uh, got the check mark. And we have the details here on a small script. The instructions you can read yourself, but basically tells you to copy this script. And what it's going to do is just launch VS Code uh, for us. So I'm open a terminal. And I'm going to use the menus. You can see paste is no problem. Uh, it warned you about the large amount of text you're pasting as a security concern. And VS Code opens up. Now I'm going to move this little status thing here over. Now you can see that uh, the red um, door is where you can exit. You see how much time is left in the lab here? Um, but nowhere. Oh, I better hit continue to connect. So actually, we're connecting to a remote machine. So we're actually doing a remote connection from the VS Code running in this desktop environment to a virtual machine where we're going to do our development. What's nice about VS Code, the remote development support, is it feels very much like you're on the machine. So really, we've hidden the remoteness from you. So just sort of skipping through here and looking at the, uh, the instructions you can see here, we can see we're connected. We're all good to go. So what we're going to do here is take a look at the source code. Uh, if you look, there's an application here. It just calculates Fibonacci or for factorial. Uh, it's not very exciting. Um, but the purpose of this uh, lab is not the code. It's actually the tools. So uh, you can see here, you can run the code if you wanted, just uh, on, on the regular uh, JIT, Robin JIT. Um, this code here is marked as never called, and that's intentional for, for our purposes. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, compile this code. I'm going to create a new terminal. And over the instructions here, I'm going to copy the uh, maven command to run this uh, or compile this, this application. And this, app, this uh, maven um, uh, build is going to use the Grawl VM build tools, which is some standard plugins we've built for Maven and Gradle to simplify uh, generation of, of Grawl VM native image executables. Just plugs into your, uh, just provides some plugins for Maven and Gradle. Uh, those tools have been uh, built in conjunction with uh, a number of other projects so that uh, everyone's using the same plugins. In the past, we've had different um, downstream uh, frameworks providing their own plugins for, for Grawl VM. So we can see here, this is the output from the native image utility. There we go. It compiled the whole thing. It took about a half a minute uh, to do that. And uh, as, as we can see here, you just copy this for speed. We can take a look at the executable that was generated. And here it is. It is 4.1 megabytes. Not bad. Um, let's just do an LDD on that which will tell us uh, what shared libraries uh, are being used by executable. So there you go. So it's just sort of to prove it's an executable. Uh, that's great. So let's go and actually debug this application. So first I'm going to put a, uh, I'm going to create a, a launch configuration, uh, which I can do by, I'm going to grab this text here. I can go into the debug. I can create a, a launch file. And I'm going to create a native image configuration. It gives you a default configuration here. I'm going to replace that. Okay. All we did there was just fix the uh, native image path. 
to the path to the executable. I made it work for where we put it. And we're going to pass an argument of 100 to the application so that it calculates um, vectorial for us. So I'm going to save that. That would be Control S in this case. Uh, I'm going back to the app. So the instructions are walking me through this. You can follow along at home. Uh, try it yourself. Uh, I'm going to put a breakpoint in right here on line 10, and then I'm going to hit Run. So right away, you see the debug controls appear here. The uh, bottom bar becomes orange to tell you you're debugging, and we're stopped. Right. So this is just like if you're building a normal Java app. You put a breakpoint. You hit Run. Right. It uh, it gives a break. Uh, if I step over, I can start to see variables. Uh, we're going to parse the, uh, the input parameter, which is a string of 100. And we see here, local variable n is in fact now 100, so that's working great. Uh, I can step over this code here um, and calculate vectorial. Right, there we go. If you scroll down in the code, you'll see some interesting change in the coloration. So we're in the debug mode. The color for this code has gone to sort of brown, or a topi brown, whatever it is, beige, I don't know, uh, brown, and also this method. Um, and this is because when Graal VM native image runs, it generates an executable that only includes the code, uh, and that includes, you know, your code here, any classes, uh, fields, and methods you need. Anything you don't need is excluded. So since the compiler knows that this code is never going to be called, this code is not included in the executable, right? We don't generate code for this piece of uh, Java. And then this method also, we know it's never called. This, this code does not exist in the, the binary that we've generated. That four megabyte giant binary <clears throat> does not include this method at all. Um, so and hence it's grayed out. And if I just sort of uh, uh, step over and see the uh, rest of this continue here, see some output. Uh, the few steps there, right? So we're basically there. You go, right? So uh, it's simple as that. Um, that's all the lab shows you. I'm going to stop right there, um, and from there you can move on to some other things. If you want to try out building native image, learning a bit more about native image itself, not just debugging, um, we have some extra links here with uh, labs and presentations uh, and uh, some videos. So I hope you find that useful, and I'll put a link in the um, video uh, description so you can try this lab yourself. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.